Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a mishmash of stuff again. I have a mix of Fenty Beauty, L'Oreal eyeshadows, Patrick Ta, YSL, Pink Dust, and Huda Beauty. A few of these products I already know I love and they've become my new favorites. And then a couple of the products I don't remember what they look like. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos and supporting my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist, and I dip into fashion a little bit. That part I'm just learning. And I'm testing out makeup for mature skin. I hope you stick with me. And before we get on with the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Share with all your friends if you do like it. And commenting below always helps me out. Engaging with me in the comments, even if it's a smiley face or a heart, it lets the algorithm know that you guys like my videos and it tells the algorithm that they should show it to more people and it helps me grow. So I appreciate it if you do that for me. So many of you are already so good at that and I love getting to know you. If you use TikTok and Instagram, I'm also on those platforms. I was on Facebook until it got hacked. I still don't have it back, so yeah, that's frustrating. I think that's enough talking. Let's get on with the video. I have a turby twist on again today. This is the best way to allow my hair to dry and also it keeps my hair out of my face. Those of you that tell me, oh my gosh, it takes forever to dry my hair, do this, it will help a lot. So today I have some eyeshadows from the drugstore. I picked up three little individual L'Oreal eyeshadows. Where are they? I can't decide if I'm gonna use Merit Beauty, their Perfect Complexion Stick, or Fenty Beauty. I was just on a live stream the other night and I used the Fenty Dew Drops and that was not good for my skin. And it reminded me that I have this and I think I liked this one so much better. So this is the Dew Stick, is it? It's a Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur Stick. I am, sh yeah, I'm showing you the name. Um, I wanted to give this another shot because I wasn't happy with the dew drops on my skin. It made it feel tight and quite, um, it enhanced the texture for sure and made me look dry. And I don't remember that with this one. So yeah, I'm gonna use this one instead. I already know that I love the Merit Complexion Perfection Sticks. I own four of them. I was gifted a couple, but I had already purchased them. Right, I have the L'Oreal Shadow, Fenty Beauty. I'm just gonna decide as I go. It's that time of year that my skin feels so dry. And it's not dry, it's just dehydrated. I'm sure it's because the heat's on, it's cold here. I've been trying this out though. This is the Ever Youthful Quattro Peptide Face and Eye Serum. And then they sent me the Ever Reveal Biomimetic Peel Pads. I've already used a few. My skin doesn't get irritated and it feels like Oh well, yeah, a little bit of a peel. This powerful daily peel with LSR10 micro exfoliants with caviar lime brightens with azelaic acid and hydrates with magnolia flower water to reveal a smoother, firmer, more radiant complexion. For sensitive skin, start with three times per week and build to a daily use. Maybe I should do this again. I haven't been using this daily and I really don't have sensitive skin. I do a lot to it, you know, like I have my microneedling services done. I've had RF therapy done. I have a chemical peel, which I still have to edit that video. Goodness. Gosh, you think you have your skin clean? Ah, I just got out of the shower. Is that my tan? That's the thing. I don't do this every day either because I self tan and I like the color. So if I do this every day, I'm removing my color so much faster, but I know I should. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit. Then I'm gonna use the serum. They didn't give me a moisturizer to put on afterwards. I'm not sure why. They did give me a daytime brightening serum. Why no moisturizer? I've got a serum and I've got a serum. Does this say what step it is? Shake well, apply in the morning, one to two drops daily to clean exfoliated face. Oh, interesting. So this is step three. This is step two. This would be step, mm, interesting. It's confusing a little bit. So the serum I think always should go underneath something like this, cause it's richer. I'll show you. Let me shake it. I'll just do two drops. Hmm. Let me see how this feels. If it feels oily, then I really don't wanna put it underneath my makeup. Oh, I think it's soaking in pretty well actually. I wanna put a bit on my neck though. So I just place it on my orbital bone. It will work its way up. So don't bring it right up underneath the eye. 
I'll let that sit for a minute and I'll get something on my lips. I have this stuff. I'm just starting to take this today. It's supposed to be good for your stomach. I just don't like, I mean, it doesn't taste bad. I don't know, it's just the idea. <laughs> it's not appetizing. It's from my naturopathic doctor. Trying to get me off of Pantalock. I've been on Pantalock for years and it's not good for you. I'm gonna put some Laneige sleeping mask on. I know I'm not sleeping, but that's okay. Much better. One to two pumps. Let's just go for it. And I'm just gonna press lightly everywhere. Gosh, do I even feel like wearing makeup today? <laughs> it's so bad. I'm just going to the grocery store. I know I'll feel good when I do. It feels nice. Plumps my skin right up. Why can't they make it in like chocolate form? Okay, my skin feels better, thankfully. If you guys saw the video where I use this, I'm sorry, it's on repeat. I just wanna see how it works. My brushes are so dirty. I said that the other day and I still haven't washed them. Yeah, this formula is way better. If you're wanting to try these out, definitely get the stick instead of the dew drops if you have mature skin, unless you're oily. But that's much better. Do you see the difference? I don't think I have the lights too bright. I'm gonna go right in here. This would be great if you're going to work and then you've gotta go out. I love stick foundations for that reason. They're perfect to throw in your purse if you need to touch up. I'm gonna see if I can build this up just a little bit right there. And you notice how I'm pouncing. I'm really not swiping and wiping. I'm pushing it into the skin and not removing the coverage. Yeah. Good, really like that. I wish I could return the other one. Oh, oh well. I'm gonna try this out again too. I have used this a few times. I've showed it over on TikTok before and yeah, I wanna give it another go. This is the Huda Beauty Glowish Concealer. I'll just put it right there for now. That's the darkest area for me, right there. Right there little bits. And I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. All right, that's sat for a minute. Let's see if that does anything. On days like this, I don't care much, you know? Like I just want a light, fresh look. Definitely looks hydrating. Did it brighten it up? Not a lot, eh? As always, I'm gonna start my eye look with Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I will probably never change. If you have darker skin, I wonder if groundwork would, would work. <laughs> That's hard to say. Everything's hard for me to say lately. I don't know, my brain's just like getting all tangled inside. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche and it's just the singles, which are kind of a pain. I have 206. Palettes are so much easier. I wish L'Oreal would make an eyeshadow palette if these are good. This is kind of like a pink. I hope these are better than the Milani that I tried the other day. That's 306 and 304. Oh, they feel creamier. So that's 304. This is 206 and this is 306. Okay, I can tell you that they feel better. Yeah, that's a good question. Why doesn't L'Oreal make an eyeshadow palette? And I swatched with white sleeves. Bad idea. All right, I'm gonna start with this one first and put it where I want the lightest color. Just place it right there. And I'm gonna put it up there right away, might as well. I'm gonna use this Beely brush. Gosh, I wish I knew if I was saying that right. And I'm gonna go into 304 and start it right there. Oh yeah, this is looking good. The true test will be when I go to blend it. And I need more concealer. Yeah, I can tell. Dragging it up and in. So up first, cause that's still the outer corner where I want it darker and then in. I'm 
gonna add a little bit more. L'Oreal is one of my favorite brands at the drugstore. It's hard to go wrong, especially on mascaras. They're probably my favorite mascaras. L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous Mascara. That used to be my favorite. When I was a working makeup artist, it's always what I carried in my kit. There's definitely a difference between high-end eyeshadows and drugstore, but there has to be, you know? But these are definitely better than Milani. No offense to Milani. I'm gonna take the same brush, since they're in the same kind of color family, and dip into this one and start placing it on the outer corner. Didn't I just say I wasn't a fan of warm colors? <laughs> this is warm. It's actually pretty though. I guess the advantage of buying single eyeshadows is that you're not stuck with a bunch of colors that you would never use. So if you're very basic with your eye makeup, you're not cluttering up your space with a bunch of palettes, that's when this would work. Or if you have a palette that has a color like this that you use all the time and you've run out of this one, but you haven't run out of anything else, then you could just buy this eyeshadow rather than buying a whole new palette. That's when I would do that. It's quite pretty. It goes on nice and smooth. No holes. This is my droopy eye, so I always have to stretch that up a little bit to make sure I get in there. So I'm gonna blend that out and hope that it doesn't just leave my face. Yeah, that's pretty. I forgot to zoom you in. I'm so sorry. Hopefully I can zoom you in when I edit. Okay, I'm gonna go back into that darker color. I'm using a Refer 02. I keep forgetting to tell you guys what brushes I'm using. There's basically three in the rotation. BK Beauty, Refer, and the Beely brushes. And with a stiffer brush, I can get more deposit. Same color, I'm just darkening that edge. I don't really even feel like I have to blend it out. Let's just play with it and see if it goes anywhere. I do lose a little when I blend. Yeah, I am. I'm losing a little. Hmm. I wonder what the ingredient is that makes it really adhere to the eye. Anyway, I'm not unhappy with this. It works. I'm gonna use a pencil that I got a long time ago. It's by 1999. It's brown. And I'm gonna tight line right there. This is a lot to go to the grocery store. It's my art therapy. I really get lost with time when it comes to doing this. Oh, okay, see? This is what I was saying when I used the Shiseido micro liner. This transfers, you see? Automatically, that transferred. But the Shiseido didn't. And this doesn't claim to be waterproof or transfer proof, by the way, so I'm not mad at it, but if you want a liner that doesn't transfer, the Shiseido is the best one I've tried. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush. I'm not gonna bother with bronzer today. I'm literally going out to get broccoli. I actually haven't even tried this before. I hope I like it. I'm trying hard not to lift up my foundation. I see so many mature women on TikTok saying, don't put your blush here, put it here. And I really think it's up to you. I think it's up to your face shape. It depends also if you smile and it brings it up really high, but then when you drop your smile, if it comes lower than this point, then you need to watch the placement. When I apply my blush, I kind of tighten the skin a little bit but I don't want it to go past this point right here. So the top of my ear down, I don't want anything past that point. Yeah, see, look at that. I don't want that. I should never have done that. What was I thinking? <laughs> so should I just take it off here? Cause it's gonna continue to transfer. I just ordered a half lash curler. These lashes are giving me a hard time and I think it's gonna help. When I bought my Lancome foundation, they gave me a mini of the Diffinacil. This was never my favorite because I love volume. Since this look isn't dramatic, it's a good time to give it a shot. Yeah, so if you're somebody that loves length and not a lot of volume, this is a good one. It really creates a natural looking eyelash.
I made a mess. I struggle with this though because I like more of a lash. Like I've been using Huda Beauty One Coat Wow. <laughs> this is very different. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite mascara? And are you like me that you like full lashes, like lots of it? Or do you prefer this kind of look? I'd be more of a hypnos drama kind of girl rather than this one. Maybe I'll like it better on the bottom lashes. I'm gonna have to force myself to not boost this up. I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta Brow Lamination again. I really like this stuff. And instead of putting a pencil on, I'm actually gonna follow up with a powder. Because when I put a pencil on first, or any brow product first, when I apply the brow lamination, it kind of takes it off. But I'm thinking if I go in with a powder after, it might be easier. Comb. I don't know the right way to do this. Oh, I can see a string. Um, I kind of comb it through and in these shorter areas here, I turn it around. I don't know if you can see that there's a flat part and then there's a comb part. On the shorter hairs where they're really sticking up, I use the flatter side to make sure enough product gets on there and kind of push them down. And I work it back and I just keep turning the wand. I always find that when I wear warm colors on my eyes that I almost feel like it makes me look sick or tired. And I know that goes against color theory because my eyes are blue, they're kind of blue gray, and orange against blue should make my blue pop. And you may disagree with me, but I feel like it's not my best color. So I have a trick, and I don't know if NYX has this anymore. This is the Wonder Pencil, and I'm gonna brighten up my eye with this. Hopefully that will make me feel better. What do you think? I feel like it looks better. That's what's important. I'm gonna use the Benefit Groof, Groof? <gasps> I'm gonna use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Powder, and this is in 2.5. This is a MAC brush. Okay, so I'm gonna look for the holes. So I see a hole right there, right there. My SD card was full, so I don't know what you just saw there. I hope that you saw it. Well, I'll do it on the other side anyways. So I'm just gonna fill this in right here. Yeah, I do feel like it's easier with powder when I have the lamination in my eyebrows. A little bit there. This eyebrow is much different. I have a lot more holes on this side. What I'm looking for is a steady, line. Right there. I'm crouching right in, I'm concentrating so much. Maybe I might have to lift my mirror, there we go. <laughs> right there. Yeah, I think the bonus of the powder in the brush is that I don't have to press really hard and dig in between the brows. Feel like I went a little low right there and a little spockish right there. Good enough. I'm gonna use this one. I haven't used it in a while. This is Trini London. They sent it to me a long time ago. I filmed a TikTok long time ago. And sometimes I just forget that I have products because I'm always looking to the future. So I wanna give it a go. It might be a little yellow. We'll see. Did I literally just pick the same kind of texture? <laughs> I don't know that that's doing much else, guys. Hmm, I think I'm gonna get my Sigma. Yeah, all right, <laughs> let's try this again. This never fails me. And I'm gonna dip into both of them. Tap back and forth. 
and you'll see the difference. And I'm gonna go on the outside here. Really think about applying it where you need the coverage, not all over. Generally, we don't need it all over. It depends on your coloring, of course, and your ethnicity. A lot of Indian women have that darker kind of circle there. But you know what? I used to camouflage that for them. And so many women did not feel comfortable not seeing the darkness because it made their eyes look smaller to them. I would always say to them, just wait, give it a chance until I finish their entire makeup. Because once I had that darkness evened out, then I could go and add darkness where I wanted to add the darkness. I'm saying darkness a lot. But if you're used to seeing a certain color under here and then all of a sudden I clear it out and even that skin tone, you'll feel weird. Your eye actually will potentially look a little smaller. But that's when you get creative with your eyeshadow and your mascara and your eyeliner and it looks really pretty. Look at the difference, guys. Like, I can really see a difference. I love this product. This would be similar to Bobbi Brown's Corrector. This would be similar to Light Bisque. This would be similar to Bisque. Textures are a little bit different, but same idea. And the Sigma is a lot less expensive. I just wanna to touch up my blush now that I did that. Make sure there's no stop and start. I am addicted to this. This is the Easy Bake and Snatch, and it is in Cherry Blossom. As I was organizing my makeup the other day, I came across Pink Dust, and they were one of the first companies that hired me. Pink Dust is an indie brand, and it's also a female-owned brand, which I love. And this is the color Spiced Out. Should I just wear it as a lipstick? I feel like I might. I'm just gonna fill that in. Okay, I'm gonna blow dry my hair and I'll be right back. That plan failed. I had to add something to my lips because the lip liner was quite sticky and that's okay because it's not meant to be a lipstick anyways and I feel better with a little bit of shine. I did add my YSL Candy Glaze in number 15. I don't know if you can get this because it was sold out everywhere during the Sephora sale and all the sales. I'll put a link for you and you can double check yourself, I guess, in your area. I had some great successes. I'm just a little bit red right here so I'm gonna take my finger into my Fenty Beauty Stick and pat it on. I think I wasn't very careful around my chin area. I really focused on my cheeks, so I'm sure that's why. That's what I mean about these stick foundations. The Merit Beauty, the Fenty Stick, Bobbi Brown has sticks, Hourglass has sticks, Tom Ford has foundation sticks. I've never tried his. They're just so great for touch-ups and they're not messy. So I'm really happy with this look. I hope it inspires you. I hope it helps. Let me know in the comments below. Before you leave, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and share with all your friends and I will see you in my next video. Bye.